Hello and welcome back to Live Laugh Stuck. I am Jackie, aka Jax, and this is another. I almost said ship course. This isn't about ship course. This is about ship name discourse. Ship ship name course. Uh, we're we're doing more ship names. Just a lot of ship names. Who knows how far far we'll get? We already got distracted before we started recording. Anyway, how was y'all's Thanksgiving? Oh, uh, my 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 family got sick, so I haven't had my Thanksgiving. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, my my family decided to do a uh, a very small Thanksgiving where, uh, instead of just being like one or two out of thirty people there being very uncool and homophobic, it was two out of five. So I decided to not go. That's a bad ratio. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the worst ratio. Um, I had my mom and brother come over here because my car sucks, and uh, it's like a four-hour drive, like down back roads to them. So plenty of places for me to die. Um, so they came here, and it was surprisingly fine. My mom's usually a stressful person to be in an enclosed area with for long periods of time, but uh, it was it was pretty chill. She did decided to mix the blueberry and cinnamon raisin bagels together and also all of my oatmeal flavors but um she has committed worse crimes uh so pretty pretty that chill. one that is a pretty heinous thanksgiving crime it's so low down on the bar for the things my mom has done um i think the worst one was mixing pop tart flavors together where there is no indication on the outside no, that's still lowballing it. She's like thrown my shit away without asking. So fairly on Thanksgiving. I mean, anytime she comes over, um, anytime <laughs> she's near my stuff. Uh, <laughs> horrible, horrible crimes. No, it's, it's good. I'm I'm almost through the leftovers, which is sad, but it also means I'm not throwing away any leftovers that gone to waste. So except for the cranberry sauce, because I don't like cranberry sauce. Um, but yeah. That's cool. It's going to be like after Christmas by the time you guys hear it. So, um, cause I, I was like, going to say, you still have leftovers. It is January. <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday. Uh, I love this season. It's like you've got Halloween, you've got Thanksgiving where you just get a bunch of food. If there's no food, I don't care about it. You get Christmas, which also is a candy holiday. Again, I don't really care about anything except for the game sales and after uh christmas candy sale and then you have my birthday and then you have valentine's day which is more candy uh and then easter which is more candy and then after that it's a desolate wasteland until uh halloween rolls back around yeah i'm living very very similar because my birthday is in between halloween and thanksgiving <laughs> did i miss your birthday my my birthday is november 3rd i missed your birthday my ev brother's birthday was Friday. Everybody missed my birthday. Did you say anything? Did you tell me it was your birthday? No, I didn't. I, I didn't say anything to anybody. I See, I don't shut up when it's my birthday. I'm like, <laughs> one month out, guys. One week out. Birthday's coming. My birthday. Y'all will know. If anybody wants to get me anything, there is a wish list Google Doc in the show. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? I do have a Google Doc wish list, but I mean, why not? Yeah, because anytime anybody asks me, like, "Hey, what do you want for Christmas?" I I, I immediately shut down and just go, "I don't, I don't fuck yeah. video games." Yeah, video um, games. Yeah, so I decided to start keeping a list, and anytime I see something and go, "Oh, that's really fucking cool," I put it on a list, and then like right before. Uh, a, a gift giving holiday I go and like prune out the stuff that was like that's a just great idea. The moment or that I bought myself or you know whatever yeah that's good shit I, just I will Amazon actually steal this idea yeah yeah because it's better than an Amazon wish list because yeah, it can include not... outside of Amazon well there used to be a browser extension for Amazon where you could like add things to your Amazon wish list from other websites and you could just click the link and go to those websites um, but I think they got rid of that I will say my Google Doc is basically uh, a link repository for other wish lists. Extremely funny, very good. Like it's it's mostly an Amazon and a Steam wish list, and then also a couple things that you can't find on either of those places. Yeah, 
That's good shit. We're here to talk about ships. <laughs> we are here to talk <laughs> about talk ships, about theoretically. Ships. <laughs> theoretically. Uh, anyway, uh, let's let's get back to it. We are grading this on an A th- or S through F scale. Oh my god. Voice yeah. cracked. I'm going through puberty. Um and uh yeah, let's let's see how it goes. I think we were pretty harsh but fair in the last one. I don't Probably, remember. Probably I don't I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah. It's been years since the we did instant that. that recording stopped, I forgot everything about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that will I'm sure that will be one hundred percent consistent. Yeah, of course. Just like we were throughout all of the last episode. We definitely were one hundred percent consistent with all of our metrics in the last episode. I, yeah. I guarantee that for sure. Look, when the metric is, I feel like, you yeah. can't go wrong. Listen, if people want to do it themselves, they can do it themselves. That's how I was with, with, with gay stuck. That's how I was with girl stuck. That's how I am with any of my shit. It's uh, my kingdom, baby. I choose how I count this. If you want to count it differently, go count it. I just realized my phone is not on silent. So just just as a consistency test, does anybody remember how we rated this ship last time? Did we rate it last time? I thought we were leaving we, it on last ooh. time. We did. This is the last one that we did. Oh, I thought we stopped and we're going to do this next time. Birds and the Bees. I don't know. I think it's pretty fun. I'm relatively <laughs> certain we did Birds and the Bees. Uh, if we didn't, what do you rate it now? <laughs> I think it's cute enough. Uh, I'll I'll give it a B. I mean, it's got to be a B, right? Right. Oh, you're right. It has to be. I feel like in actuality, I'd rate it like a C, but it's got to be a B. I can't not rate it a B. Right. Solix and Dave, Birds and the Bees gets the bees. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, we got we got marooned. We have Carcat and oh, did we say last time it was Solix and Dave? I think we I, did. I, I I did at the end. Cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have uh, marooned, which is Carcat and uh, uh, Aridin. I used I, I don't know. I almost said Equius. I used to get those two names mixed up all the time. Same. Um, I I also yeah same. But you get their their. Uh, Morons, uh, maroon is kind of a purplish color. Yeah, yeah. Maroon is also like marooning on an island. It's got a couple of things going for it, but are any of those things good? It is. It is a lot of connections. I and I do appreciate that because it's kind of the color you get if you mix their blood. It's it's got the like island thing. Didn't we? I I, fr- I feel like we said Carcat was on the shore, like on a beach. No, that's Gamzy. Gamzy's, Gamzy's on the beach. Yeah. Gamzy's Never beach. fucking mind. Never fucking mind. I can't believe we don't have it memorized where every one of these trolls live in their relationship to the ocean. I don't, in fact, got it memorized. Terrible. That's Kingdom Hearts. Valid. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, personally, I do appreciate how many elements there are to this, but, like... I don't know. I also don't feel like all of those elements come together cleanly, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's not cohesive. It's somebody found a word that's like, aha, it means it has a lot of connection to these two. But it's not like none of the other things connect through it. It's like, uh, fuck, this is hard without a like visual. Yeah. Yeah, it's like all of this stuff doesn't connect to each other. It only connects to the word, but the word doesn't link any of the other things to get. You... Yeah, it I may sound the... like a... <laughs> the word is central as opposed to the ship. Yeah. 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 Word first. Word first. Uh, I'll say C. Yeah, I think that can get it up to a C. Yeah, I also think this is a, a good solid C. Yeah. So yeah. C for effort. Uh C C for Keffert. <laughs> <laughs> well, A for effort doesn't actually like effort doesn't start with an A, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> sure, whatever. Maroon gets a C. <laughs> All 
All right, now we've got Dave and Nepeta as cool cat. Excuse me, cool cat. I feel like I gotta gotta give it another take so that we know it's all one word. All one word. Yeah. I'm trying uh, not to let my bias of the ship influence my appreciation of the name. Yeah, I. I just feel like that's what they would call it themselves. I feel you're like right. they, would, they they definitely would. Yeah, like this this feels like an in universe ship name. You are very correct. They came up with this together, and now they won't shut up about it. Yeah. Um. It is. It is also sort of a play on the on the whole cool kid thing that Dave has going on with Terezi, You know. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Which I'll give it points for. Uh, gotta gotta remember not to let the the my feelings about this ship influence it because it's right. a good ship. It's a good ship. But was was Cool Cat like a thing? I don't think so. What do you mean by a thing? Like was was Cool Cat? Uh, were they referencing something when they said Cool Cat, or is it literally just Cool and Cat shoved together? I don't know. Fifties slang. Yeah, uh, there is a fifties slang element here, but oh, it's wait a not minute. one. Hold on, word. I found something. Uh, was this? Oh my god, was this around when Homestuck was? The fifties? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, the fifties were definitely around. When when yeah. Homestuck came out, they they had they had happened. It happened by the time Homestuck came out. Uh, no, this is a mid to late twenty tens thing. There was there was a whole cool cat like children's books and movies. What? Uh, like cinematic universe. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think that has any relevance here. I think, yeah, I, I, I think don't think it's so. Just, just cool kid, but a cat because it's Nepeta. Okay. Uh, it is also it is also a um a wine. Okay. Wild yep. hate it. <laughs> yep. As for this <laughs> ship name, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Terrible wine name, but what do we think about this ship? I I think that as a ship name, it it works. I don't think it reaches the vaunted heights of S tier, but I, I'd be comfortable oh, no. with an A. No, yeah, I would. I was gonna yeah, say I'm B cool because, like, mostly because this is what they would call their own ship name. It's yeah. so true. That's that's the most correct thing. Yeah, and they'd be so annoying about it. They would. <laughs> oh my god, they would. <laughs> Yeah, Dave would pretend to be ironic, but is incredibly sincere. Nepeta is just incredibly sincere, no matter what. Yeah, <sighs> we're writing fanfic about a ship name. Um, <laughs> yeah, what, what, I, huh? Yeah, go ahead. I was thinking an A. I I agree oh. with Dami. I'm just just because it's so canon to them. Yeah. All right. Cool cat gets an A. Speaking of wine, uh, we have Roxy and Calliope as snake wine. Is snake wine a thing? I don't... I don't know. Uh, Maybe? Google it, since you're a Googling Um, person. Snake wine? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I've I've seen this before. Um, Snake wine is a real thing. It is... um, like when when distilling wine there is an actual snake like a real snake in the wine that is being distilled oh kind of like the tequila worm yeah yeah kind of like the tequila worm okay well that that gives it some more points i figured it had there had to be a snake wine Probably. they didn't just yeah, yeah. shove these together i just wasn't uh, aware of it so okay all right Snake right. wine is a, uh, as far as I can tell, like a, a Vietnamese wine. 
Okay. Mm. Snake wine is not illegal in the United States, but the importing of snakes is. <laughs> so, very difficult to get in the United States. Okay. Can't have Kinder if, eggs. Can't have snakes. What are we even in America for? Like this is the this is the freedom place. And we can't import any <laughs> snakes or Kinder. Okay, eggs. so here's my feelings. If you're using this ship name to uh to facilitate a Vietnamese Roxy head cannon, it's like a C. But otherwise, I mean, it's like it's like a food one. It's like a D. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I I can't I can't see any connection between like what snake wine actually is and like any dynamic of the ship. Yeah, yeah it's just that's a that's a snake alien and that's I mean, a drunk. I mean and that's that snake and that's is, a wine future lady. I mean that <laughs> snake is soaking in that in that in that in in yeah. <laughs> you saying that snake all up in that juice if you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh gross. <laughs> uh what is, D F what are we doing? D. We're doing D. Okay. Snake wine gets gets a D. Here it is. Here it is. The Here long is. awaited Rose and Kanaya is Rosemary. We the talked only... about this so much in episode one. <laughs> yeah, it's the only combination of names that gets in here because it's, like, good. Because I... Rosemary is a thing. Right. Like, it's a th- yeah. It's a thing. Outside okay. of just being their name smushed. Now look, now look. We all know where this is going to end up, right? Yeah. Yes. It's iconic. It's good. We love it. Yeah. I feel like I gotta be fair. And I gotta bring up... I mean, no. (laughs) (laughs) But I gotta play devil's advocate here, alright? Do you? Because that's fun. I do, Oh, you were were a debate club kid. I was in debate. It ruined my life. Anyway, (laughs) continuing. uh, I gotta bring up two things. One, it is a food name. Two, it has nothing to do with their ship dynamic at all. God damn it, what? I can't remember the fucking line I want to quote. <laughs> what? The fucking Nick Fury. Um, I've heard the council's opinion, and I think it's a stupid fucking opinion. <laughs> or whatever it is. Maybe there is. Like, what? I'm, I'm thinking, like, what is rosemary? What is it used for? How does it... It's a how does herb it... that you use, it's... Right. like... Uh, it's it's in like savory food and stuff, right? Primarily. Yeah, you use it to to season meats, meats a lot. For meats. Uh, I've I've been putting it on uh, chicken thighs lately. Ooh, putting it in hamburger. So fancy. Putting herbs on things like a real yeah. adult. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's delicious. Not just using Lowry seasoned salt for everything. Yeah. <laughs> um. But. Eh. I mean, like, I, 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 I say this, but also at the same time, like, fuck, we can't not put this in us. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I maintain that I, I know that we're not supposed to put the ships as, like, the, the thing above the, the name, because the name's more important. But both Rosemary the ship and Rosemary the ship name are the most foundational of Homestuck. And I will die and kill on that hill in that order. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll also devil's advocate against my devil's advocate, which is that the food name is elevated by it actually being a combination of their names. Yeah, and not just like, well, one's purple and one's green, so grapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came up with that one. I'm feeling a little proud of myself. <laughs> I'm <not> too proud. <laughs> Um, in in doing in doing research on rosemary, I'm to see only going to refer actual... to them as grapes now. I'm sorry, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> um, this is irrelevant, but I want to share this fact with you. Okay. Um, 
people have uh, cultivated like very specific types of rosemary for very specific um, like use in gardens. One of which is called Miss Jessup's Upright. <laughs> which just <laughs> hits me in a very strange way. <laughs> It does not have any relation to what we're talking about here other than it being a type of rosemary. Um, I mean, I that sounds like a pickup <laughs> line Rose would use. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Jessup's Upright is a horny fanfic title for these two. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I anyway. expect a fanfic for all of these titles we've been saying, um, and I expect you to link them to me. Anyway, Rosemary, S? S. I mean, yeah, it's S. Okay, yeah. Absolutely. Rosemary gets an S. Do you want to take it, Tommy? Uh, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Okay, yeah, okay. So uh, we have Gamzy and Jane as Crockpot. And my initial reaction here is because back when I was on Flarping, which is an old Homestuck roleplay website, my Jane account was named Jane hashtag Crockpot Crocker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Were you a yeah. big uh, uh, Gam Jane? I was certainly not. I have never <laughs> seen this shit name before in my life. <laughs> That's so funny. Did you get Gamzy's trying to uh, no. roleplay with you? No. <laughs> not really, no. <laughs> Extremely funny. <laughs> uh... Um, I like it. I think it works I, on a couple levels. Yeah, I kind of like it. And I don't think that that's just uh, nostalgia hitting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I, I, like, I, I mean, we could spell it out. It's, you know, she's Crocker. He smokes pot. Yeah. Is, uh, mm -hmm. There's, there's Crackpot, like... Yeah. Crackpot theories. There's a Crockpot is a implement used for various forms of cooking I think it's a is, meme. is there a way to cook pies in a crock pot because I feel like that elevates it if there is Th that I, would be a crazy <laughs> person thing <laughs> I, I that would, might be something that Gamzy would try out would that be a Gamzy ship name was crock pot and it's like <laughs> Crockpot. You can put some sofa slime in that crockpot. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think it would work. It would just be goo. Um, oh, I don't okay. think it would get to the high enough temperatures to bake the the. I mean, the pre-baked crust. I guess you can use it to cook pie filling, especially for like savory meat pies. Yeah. Yeah. The filling, yeah, yeah. but not the pie but not the pie. Though, the idea of cooking sober slime in a crock pot is very funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, fucking John comes over, is like, oh, you got something cooking? Opens it, takes a finger in it. It's fucking sober slime. You know what? I actually am sold on the specific concept of these two cooking troll drugs in a crock pot together and doing, <laughs> like, a breaking bad. <laughs> <laughs> I expect yep, a Breaking yep. Bad Jane Gam AU called Crockpot on my desk tomorrow morning. Uh, fuck. This is actually, that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What? What? What are we thinking? I said I B I'm earlier, kind of but I'm kind of up to A now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're like yeah. working ourselves up here. <laughs> Against all odds, Crockpot gets an A. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have Aridan and Roxy as shipping is magic. Magic is M A J Y Y K. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you. Um, this sucks. It sucks. <laughs> There's so many other magic characters. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Neither of these characters are like super obsessed with shipping, right? Like yeah. you would almost expect Nepeta to be involved in this somehow. I think yeah. Aridin is a little bit implied because he and Karkat uh, are said to have shipping jams about stuff. Okay. But, um, right. But this is also, this is a parody on friendship as magic, and neither of them are bronies. God, you're yeah. so right. This would be, uh, this would be Nepeta and Dirk's ship name. Yeah. Yeah. Except, spe- spelled, except spelled right. correctly. Yeah, yeah. Except yeah. spelled correctly, yes. Um, what are we up to? Four four twelve now? What? Because we were just adding ship names to get up to four thirteen. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, so I, are we uh Sure. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> are we rating shipping is magic and shipping is magic? I, it doesn't matter. I'm making a okay. joke. I do the, kind of uh, like the, it, though. I had never considered Dirk and the, wa- the Ys that I'm using in this font look a little bit like martini glasses. They do? Yeah, the font makes it better, but that doesn't count because this <laughs> is an audio medium unless you are watching the YouTube video. Uh, this, is, this is a D from me because it's not... Yeah. It's not so incorrect that it gets the F. It's not just like flat wrong. Yeah, it's just like, but, eh. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, D. All right, shipping is magic. Gets a D. <laughs> magic. We have oh. Carcat and Nepeta as Carcino. It's okay, bad. it's bad. bad. It's this bad. is just a Carcat thing. Yeah. Just Carcat. Why might Nepeta be in this name? Because I feel like somebody's go I feel like somebody was trying something with this that isn't tracking because it's a Carcat word. Yeah. But like what 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 could have been the thought process here? Because I got nothing. Because I don't, Nepeta I don't... is part of the scientific name for catnip. Is catnip a noted carcinogen? That would be fucking wild. <laughs> that would be a wild ass thing to be true. Are you googling it, Justin? Yeah, I am. Is catnip okay. a carcinogen? Um, considering how us cat owners just spread them all around our house for our insane animals. Okay. So sort of. The okay. the 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 turpinoid that Nepeta is named after, um ne- uh, fuck I'm gonna butcher this. Nepetaloclatones? Yeah. What a, sure, something something close to that. Are toxic. But they appear there are so little of it in what we use as catnip that it would be in it'd be ludicrously difficult to poison a cat with catnip. So it's like most drugs. This is technically poison, but if you don't take enough of it to kill you, it's a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean You would you would have to like shove catnip down your cat's throat, like That's fucking that's fucking almonds and and bananas and everything else. Like everything yeah. qualifies as that. Yeah. Um. So you didn't see any other way that that carcino could be. No, because a the, thing? the 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 prefix carcino is relating to uh to to crabs and cancer. Wait and a minute. Is what? it because this ship is cancer? Is that the joke? Is that the intended joke here? That's so dumb. I hope not. <laughs> I hate that. No. It's I hate bad. That you suggested it. I'm sorry. I don't <laughs> want it to be true. I fucking hope not. That's so. <laughs> I want to be clear. I don't think this ship is cancer. Oh, I mean, it's already on the record, Dami. I'm going to make oh, a short of this shit. and post it all over TikTok and Instagram. 
damn it. I've been cancelled. This is what cancels you. This is <laughs> is not liking uh uh catnip. There's so many better <laughs> things to cancel me for. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh so okay, here's the thing. Carcino as a ship name gets an F from me. But yeah. Yeah. if it is if the if the ship name is supposed to imply that this ship is cancer, what's below an F? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you didn't even want to include F in the, or you weren't even planning on including F in the first place. So it feels yeah. like already pretty if, below the below. If we were going by my original metric, this would be the only thing in F. This is fair. Okay, so Carcino gets an F minus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, now we have Carcat and Aridin as Crab Sushi. Boring. This sucks. Bar- uh, yeah, yeah, bad. <laughs> Can bad. we just put this in F he- and move on? <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Crab Sushi gets an F. Moving on. <laughs> uh, we have John and Mina as Stormy Seas. Which I feel is the exact same tier as Crab Sushi. He's Stormy, really? she's Seas. Okay. No, I like this one better. I think that there's... I think that there's something here. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's, like, amazing, but I think that no. this could describe the ship dynamic a little bit. And the ship would be pretty rough. You've got... Be- Sorry. I wasn't saying anything more. And you've got, like, additionally, like, sure, John, John Stormy, she's sees, but also, like, is that the case? Because, like, yeah, John has the wind shit, and she's got the water shit, but also, if you flip it, she's Stormy, he's blue and chill, and she's Stormy. I would never, never describe the ocean or the seas as chill. I suppose. But, like, John's water, she's thunder, you know? Yeah. I think that last is stretching it. Uh. I was with you until then. <laughs> I, I, I kind of get it. Because, yeah, like, John, like, seas are not always, like, chaos and rapids and storms. There there are calm seas. Like, you get you get whole days out on sea that are just nothing yeah but i feel like we're picking this apart too much because this is explicitly about not that much like to be clear i like it i like stormy seas because i think that that their relationship would i mean any mean of relationship is going to be chaotic but um i don't know i think it's uh not the most clever but i think it's a little clever I think view it this way, right? And maybe you still think this is too much dissection, right? But, like, if you view Mina as as stormy, right? The seas are calm until the storm comes along. Yeah. And it is very, very easy to throw John's life into chaos. It's true. I just think you're overselling. You don't have to like my argument, but it's the one I made, and it's the one that I'm going to rate it based on. (laughs) (laughs) Cool. I'm not going to rate it based on that argument. Okay. I think this is allowed to be a B. A B? Yeah. I was thinking a C. What do you think, Justin? Uh... I think if we're going to continue along with the uh, pun ranking, then Stormy Seas has to be a C. Okay, I'm fine with this. Submitted to pun logic. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted on record that I fought for that one, but that's okay. In a, yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> well, uh, it won't be. We're going to cut it all out. I'm going to cut it all out. We're just going <laughs> to so say, like Stormy I'm, Seas, that's I'm being, a C, move on. <laughs> I'm being censored. 
<laughs> See for censored. <laughs> this is what happens whenever I edit. <laughs> All right, now we have Tavros and Carcat as oranges. I don't. Uh, F, move on. I don't get it. F, yeah. Yeah, fuck oranges. This. Bad. Only one of them's orange ish. Yeah. Okay, now we've got Nepeta, Equius, and Jade all together in one little pile as furry shipping. I it's, guess. It's like accurate but not fun yeah i i feel like they should have done done, there i feel like there's more creative things to do with furry right also equius is not really a furry i feel like if you swapped out equius with uh fuck what's the dancestor horus yes Well, Equius I feel does like have that makes muscle beast like anthropomorphic muscle beast uh posters up on his wall. Right. Equius definitely appreciates horses in a unnatural and perverse way. <laughs> I think if you have anthropomorphic but... animals on your wall, you're a furry. I maybe I, I do think Equius is a furry. Like furries are people who enjoy furry aesthetics as well as like fursuiters and RPs. Like, yeah. But he he hate he hates roleplay though. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Furry is is more than just like I'm a furry and I don't do fucking jack shit besides appreciate furry art. Um I don't roleplay as a furry or uh I mean I try to draw sometimes but animals are hard. Um I mean Hey I just, everybody Hey everybody, yeah. right now I want you to do me a favor, go check out uh, Masks Aftermath on YouTube and <laughs> tell me tell me that the PNG tuber you were using for the first few episodes. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, it was that or a weird, terrible person. Um I just didn't want to get ready for camera in the first couple. Um I mean, I'm not opposed to it. It just wasn't like, it was just more out of convenience. But, um, you got me there. <laughs> but also go watch it anyway. I, I love my little gremlin person. M- it was it was a and fun first attempt at masks where nobody knew what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. That does sound like a good time. Anyway, yeah. we've gotten off track. Yeah. Uh... I think we can agree that this is an F, maybe a D, and move on. I'd say if, D because it's technically accurate. It is true. It's just it is uncreative. Accurate. It is uncreative. If 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 we do agree, which I don't necessarily, but I seem to be outvoted. Yeah. If we do agree that all three of them are furries, then then yeah, this the ship name does make sense, which is the like lowest criteria for not being F, you know? Yeah. Okay, it's a D then. Furry shipping gets a D. Do you have a hard time not saying gets the D every time? Because I would. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think about it every time. <laughs> I'm like I'm like I'm like, I can only use this joke twice over what's gonna be like fifteen hours. Yeah. I gotta figure out where to put it. And you've it's already like, uh, used PG-13 it once. It's like PG-13 and figuring out your fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now we have Gamzee and Roxy as Mardi Gras. I think it's fun. I don't know if it's accurate, but I like it. <laughs> I I could see them having fun together at Mardi Gras. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I had an opportunity to go to real-ass New Orleans... Mardi Gras and I didn't because it was with my dad and that would have been weird. It would have been a little bit weird. That would have been rough. Weird. Yeah. But uh it's still fun. It's a fun concept. I think they get along great at Mardi Gras. And nowhere else. 
I don't know. I think Roxy's chill enough to get along with just about anyone everywhere else. Listen, I read a Roxy Horace ship fic, and I just, like, appreciate Roxy in whatever ship you put her in. <laughs> Roxy Horace would be kind of funny, I feel like. It was it, it was it, good. It would be hilarious. Yeah. yeah. What do we what do we give in Mardi Gras? <laughs> uh, I have a lot of complicated feelings about this one that I'm having a hard time putting into words. Like it makes I, eh, amounts of sense, but it is charming. Yeah. It's just like it's just fun. Yeah. It's just a fun one. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't explain their dynamic at all. I'm I'm wavering around a C. Yeah. I think C's yeah. fine. I think C is fine. I you just have a space between the I and the G, or else the 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 spacing between letters is terrible and it's messing with me. Um, no, I wrote this the way that it was on the document you gave me, which put Marty and Gra as two different words. That's terrible. What a terrible <laughs> document. <laughs> Whoever put that together, don't know what to say about him. Okay. <sighs> This is Dave and, and uh, I almost said Vrisarezzi. It's not what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dave and Vriska. Uh, great ship. Hot water. Terrible name. Hot water. Hot water. Like. If you take it's a hot bath. water. If you. If you take hot water as the like. Sort of meaning of like in peril. It starts to make a little bit of sense. It's still not much. No. Briska gets people into hot water all the time. Yeah, but Friska's not like I get. I get her uh, ancestor was a pirate, and she did some pirate role play. But like, she's not really associated with water that hardcore as as much as just like vague piracy a few times. What was what was Vriska's land? Uh, what was Vriska's land? Vriska's land did have water. Uh, I forget okay. its name off the top of my head, but it was it was it was like a it was like a pirate island exploration, find the treasure type of land. Okay, because that's where this that's where Dave's hot comes from. It's is uh, heat and clockwork. That's fair. Hot water is still just a bath. <laughs> <laughs> it is also i will add it is colors there are co yeah. there are there are associated colors involved here that makes it worse it's a bad bath i don't like it if you couldn't tell i don't this know if i made fair. my opinion clear <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i was being pretty subtle about it i i feel like it's i, I feel like it's the same kind of thing it's not great it makes sense on a couple levels that are not great, like they're kind of like tangential to yeah. to being correct. They're not the levels you want it to make sense on. Yeah, it, but it they does present. make sense. Like like the, hot, the like, whole getting into hot water when you said that that did make a little bit more sense, but just not enough to save it. Yeah, I still I still want to put it at a C because it does have oh, some layers no. to it, even if it's not. Even if it's not great, there are a lot of different things going on here that are fine. Yeah. You know, I was being generous with a D. I I I would want to watch like a Saturday morning cartoon with this ship as the main characters. That does sound like a lot of fun. <laughs> but well, I love we're not ship. looking at I ship dynamics right together. now. <laughs> like, I yeah. mean, Vriska's concept of heroism and Dave's concept of heroism, like, just great ship dynamics. Can I... But... Huh? Sorry. Can I pitch a fallback from our last episode? Which oh, is... Oh, you remember things. I do remember, remember some things. things. Which is, this is a great fanfic name, or in this case, Saturday morning cartoon name about these characters, but not a great ship name. Yeah. Okay. As a ship name, it's like, it's like a D. Yeah. Okay, fine. Hot, hot water gets a D. 
It gets the D because it's a bath and you get naked in it. See, I made it. I did it. <laughs> I got it there. Moving it's on a, to- it's a it's a bath which neither of them has ever taken. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Tavros and Gamzee as bad rappers united. I mean, it's correct, just, but yes. <laughs> It's not. That's not a ship name. <laughs> Everyone's have, so upset about this. It's that's. It's just what they are. It's true. I think they should have. I think this would have been better if it was just a different rappers related ship name, and it was just all of the rappers, including Dave and Equius. Yeah. I yeah. Know, I would more rap. I mean, I guess Dirk. Wait, does Equius rap? Uh, once with Dave, they have a, they have a wrap off. Mm. He calls it, um, poetry. Slam like poetry. A, slam poetry. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that'd be good. We just need to slap a couple more people into this and then it becomes good. Yeah. It's, um, uh, just some, some play on, on beat poets would be the ship yeah. name. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bad Rappers United, again, technically correct, gets a D. Yeah. D. We now You're have... John and Dave. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're good. You're good. We've been going back and forth with no real rhyme or, rhyme or reason. Yeah, just whoever's feeling the vibe. We now have John and Dave as prankster gangsters. I think it's kind of fun. I hate it's... it. I hate it, to be clear. But I also I... think it's kind of fun. It's cute. It, it, it is. It's, it's cute. It's got the alliteration. It is much more the relationship during like Act One, yeah, than it is over the course one. of Homes. This, this yeah. is, this is a, this is a like. I, I don't know this for a fact, but this has to be like one of the first ship names. Yeah. <laughs> this has got to be early, like. Like, definitely before Act Four. Yeah. Um, this is like John and Dave's middle school ship name. Yeah, they definitely... I think that's why I like it because like it is kind of like nostalgic in a weird way. Yeah, they definitely went around the middle school hallways calling themselves the Prankster Gangsters together. You they know? absolutely yeah. did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, I. I like it. I, in the context of it being like an Act One, Act Two name, yeah, I feel like it's very good. Yeah, it it, it represents what their dynamic used to be and not what it was for most of Homestuck. Yeah, yeah. Back when things were simpler. Yeah. That can make it. That can make it like, I don't know, a C, maybe a B. Yeah, I, I was. I was gonna. I was gonna go very high. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was thinking like a B or an A. Yeah, okay. same. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll I, let it go up that high. Yeah, we can put it into B. Yeah, I think A is fine. Right. You think A is okay. fine? All right, yeah, well, I'm good with cool. A. Yeah. Just that, uh, yeah, the context that we made around it is <laughs> yeah. Um... During during Act One, this is an A. During the rest of Homestuck, this is like a C. Yeah. Yeah. We now have Rose and Kanaya. No, Rose. Oh, yeah, that's Kanaya. <laughs> no. Shut up. <laughs> nope. You're taking it again. <laughs> we now have Rose and Vriska as Blue Rose. Bad. It's bad. It's yeah. bad. Unless there's some sort of flower symbolism, flower language stuff about Blue Roses. I'm just saying things to make Justin the, look them up. The the <laughs> only no, the only thing I can think is that <laughs> no, <laughs> no, uh, you look it up. Okay, uh, I got the it. The only thing, the only you thing I can it. think about is somebody was trying to take because there's the very popular um, Vriska, uh, fuck music video, music animation, Blue whatever. Lips? No, blue yeah, lips blue is uh no, blue lips is um Equius. Equius and Nepeta. 
Oh, I never watched it because I don't like the song, so I just assumed. Never you mind. You like the song? I love it. I love the song, and I love, like, that is the first thing that got me to care about Equius. No, I saw I saw the I saw the thumbnail and I'm like I don't really like this song and it's about uh and I I assumed for whatever reason that it was about Vriska and that Vriska just never does left have my blue head. Lips, so yeah. She does have blue lips. But no, it's uh it's, it's a, about it's a meow Equus rails. and Nepeta dying yeah. together. Well, it's fucking very sad. never mind. It's so good. It's tragic. I don't like sad things. I like very happy things. Yeah, I mean, I do too, and then yet I keep going back to like, oh my god, there's so much sad Alpha Kid lyric stacks, especially Dirk Jake, which I love Dirk Jake only as a broken up couple, so it's my jam, and I also just can't <laughs> listen to like The Scientist without crying. So I, I think I think the only Dirk Jake song that I like enjoyed was uh, the Ballad of Jeremiah Peacekeeper. I don't think I've heard that one. There is one one song from Hamilton. Someone made a um, uh, an animatic of for Dirk Jake. Um, we have gotten off topic. I don't yeah. care. I have to figure <laughs> out what this song is we're called, or I'm going to go crazy. We're still talking about ships. We're still talking about <laughs> ships. My bad. Okay, I was just going to come at you with the symbolism of the blue rose. Okay, you can do that while I find. <laughs> that video <laughs> blue roses represent mystery rarity romanticism and new beginnings no uh <laughs> okay other than romanticism those do make sense i feel like for I, each of these characters individually not as a ship yeah i here's the thing again depending on how you write it right like depending on how you write their dynamic I could see this being a compelling fanfic name. Yeah, I mean, like, everything can be compelling fanfic name, though. I mean, if that's get, true. I, yeah. Yeah, I that's... get it. I guess. I think maybe a good, like, Hanahaki fic. Sorry, I'm just really into Hanahaki right now. Um, I don't. I don't know what that Hana means. Hanahaki, the oh, you're a weeb though. You should know. It's because you don't like tragic things. And then it's because yes. you don't like tragic things. It's the um, it's the it's, flower disease thing. Yeah, um, where what? if you have unrequited, if you feel you have unrequited feelings for someone else, um, then a flower like blooms in your lungs and you start coughing up petals. And if they don't confess sincerely to you that they uh, also love you. Um, oh, then you will oh eventually die from it. Oh my god, Caligula suddenly makes so much fucking sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's an anime based on a video game called Caligula, and it's like all about that, but it doesn't state it. <clears throat> and I was oh. so I was so goddamn <laughs> confused for the entire 12 ish 12 episode run. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's what it's about. Like, there's some lore where you can get surgery to get it removed, but then you forget that person exists. Um, and if you remember them again, you, you risk getting it again. Um, there's a really good, uh, Dirk Bro Hanahaki fic that Lorosaurus did. So I'm kind of obsessed. Uh, anyway, the song for the Dirk Jake, um, uh, Hamilton was, uh, Satisfied. Uh, the animatic mm, is by yeah, Potato yeah. Potato. Mm, okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Okay. What are we giving Blue Rose? Yeah, we've been sitting on this forever. <laughs> I think it's. Uh, I think. I think it's a D. Yeah. I guess D's fine. Yeah, I was I was wavering between C and D, kind of on the lower oh, end of that. I was thinking D and F, but D's fine. Because I think after, it makes well, originally, enough sense to access D. Yeah. That's a, fair. A, Originally, I was thinking D and D or F, and then with the 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 inclusion of like what blue roses mean, that pushed yeah. it up a little bit to like maybe see if somebody wanted to convince me. I wonder if the person who who named this blue rose actually looked up the the flower language or not. Absolutely not. Look, the author <laughs> is dead. We are we are making our own readings. Yeah. Okay. We're 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 beyond canon. Okay. 
<laughs> I mean, that's still a D. I'm fine. Blue Rose gets a D. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, we have. Um, yeah. No, go, go. We have Gamzy, Tavros, and Dave all together as peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Okay, listen. It's, if you are okay. not, if you are not in that time period, you do not. Oh my god. I, it was. It was the. Fir- it was the first meme. I mean, not really, but it I probably pretty fucking no close. Was the first. Meme. It was one of the first. It was it one was of the one earliest. of the first. Yeah. When was that? It was it was one of the first when when people weren't really sure what to call memes. Oh, that's um, true. I I remember I have I have a very distinct memory of being on vacation and watching G4 Tech TV because that wasn't available in Kansas where I am. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about like early viral sensations and the word that they coined for it was phenom. After phenomenon, <laughs> phenom. That's an alternate yeah. universe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You check out these great phenoms. Right. It's like we're living in. I, I just think of Xenon, uh, girl of the twenty first century. <laughs> okay, back anyway, on topic. This it's just is... notable. Sorry. It's... Yeah, no. It's it. It is notable as as a very old thing that maybe more current readers of Homestuck are not aware of because it a was little, yeah. there like, might be readers of Homestuck who were who were born after this meme. It's also notable yeah. as uh just being it's also just notable Gamtav peanut butter jelly ship name with Dave's aspect stapled onto the end. Yeah. But it is a very notable meme also. Extremely notable meme where I, I can't read it without wanting to sing it. Uh oh god it, it's almost 20 years old came out in 2004 which is it is old later than i assumed actually yeah so there are plenty of homestuck readers who were born after this existed right but uh the meme can't drink yet not yet not quite but we're Couple getting more there. years yeah it it can in europe so okay here's here's my thoughts on this ship I do not like the food ones. We've been over that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but all three of these people would enjoy the peanut butter jelly time meme for different reasons. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They would I'm they would get into a little group together, put the song on and then have a little uh, and then have a little a little party. They would flash yeah. mob people with this song. <laughs> they they would. They uh, would do a three person flash. No, Dave would would do time shenanigans to do a legitimate flash mob. Christ. Yeah. I don't. I feel like Tavros would have to be coerced into that. But yeah. Tavros anyway, it's an started. S. It's been an S since it's, <laughs> it, it it appeared on the screen. I cannot condone oh, this oh, behavior. You are, <laughs> you are rating that so much more highly. I love it so much. I I was going to put it at like B. That's not so much more highly. That's two levels. Uh, okay, is this on the same tier as Rosemary? Really? really? I don't care. I don't <laughs> is this care. On we the rate same it tier? and then it goes off the screen and then I see a new thing and I go by vibes. Is... This the same tier as Alpha Beta Soup. Yeah, like that. Yes. I don't You're know. I need a second opinion, Dami. Like, like I, I might like agree to go lower because you guys are clearly not into it. But in my heart, this is an S. Okay. <laughs> Look, how about we split the difference? I'll do. I'll do the. I'll do the tactical political vote of an A. And then it'll all okay. average out to an A. Okay, that's that's cool. Um, peanut butter jelly time, an A in real life, but an S in Jax's heart, where it's going to stay and not infect the world. 
I edit the video. <laughs> oh no, I gave you the sound clips to t to just change everything around. Yes! <laughs> That'll be very funny. Uh lazy. we have John lazy. We have John and Roxy as do the whiskey thing. Now we must be fair and not rate this thinking about the notable one for these two. What's the notable but I, one? Yeah, I don't know that either, uh, actually. Oh, uh, uh, is that Roxy Gen? Uh, yeah, I was thinking of I was thinking of Roxy Gen, I think. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was. Oh my god, okay. I just now that got Roxy Gen is Oxygen with an R. Yeah. <laughs> just now. I'm like, what is the gen in this? Okay. It's generic now, because John is boring. That's what the gen is. Rude. Um, <laughs> so here's the thing. Is is this whiskey misspelled? Or is it like a whisk? I assume it's misspelled. Uh oh, I may have misspelled it. Um it, it could have been you, it could have been the form. Definitely wasn't it whoever created the form. Unless I'm going crazy, and that's just another way to spell whiskey the drink. That is not -A, a regular way to spell whiskey. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, do you, uh, no, do that this thing? this is how it's spelled on the document. I did not fuck cool. up. Cool. Well, I didn't either. Should I just throw that out there? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I, I think it is supposed to be a play on like to be whisked away. Thing. Oh. To huh. to to parallel windy thing? Mm, I guess. Mm, I like yeah. that less than just straight up whiskey. I mean, it's also just whiskey. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I mean, the pun I, works. I don't like it. Like yeah. I get what they were going with, but it's just It's nah. it's not great. I'm not no. I'm not vouching for this to be like really high. It's definitely still like C maybe because it is sort of based in canon with do the windy thing. It's it's D. It's like based on something but not really anything about their dynamic. Yeah. I think I'm also on D. I okay, let me let me pitch something to you that may or may not change your mind. Okay. Okay, okay I'm ready. If the this is gonna sound so bad. I feel really stupid <laughs> saying this, but it's cool, it's cool. like it's like homestuck level of stupid. Yeah. Okay. What if this was followed by the command arrows? <laughs> okay. It is it is a it is a command to John. <laughs> That's just a fanfic. Uh, That's a fanfic title. That is a fanfic title, but I love it significantly more. <laughs> I am creating the fanfic in my head right now. I I would want it to be spelled correctly if it was the fanfic title. <laughs> or more obviously incorrectly to be a Roxy typo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One or the one or the other. Okay. I I st I still think C. I think it's I think it's fine. <clears throat> You know, it's not it's not great. I definitely wouldn't call it bad compared to some of the other things that we've done. Jax. That we've done? That we've rated. <laughs> and that we've done. But that's not what we're talking about. Jax. <laughs> I need you to not hate me. But I'll I'll go up to see on this. That's fine. I you've done worse to me. In this <laughs> ship video. Maybe not this I one, suppose. but the last one probably. Yeah, probably. It's, it's fine. I am the whiskey an element thing. of chaos in this series. <laughs> I don't hate it that much. I just don't think it's great. It's not. It's not great. I just like, I have more like concrete opinions about some of this shit than I expected. I expected <laughs> to just be like pretty chill about like most of the <laughs> ship names in general. <laughs> like, yeah, that's fine. But it's like, no, I'm fucking Brennan Lee mulliganing this shit. 
We've, I will die on any hill. We've been doing this for four hours, and suddenly I have standards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I think I had standards from the first one, which was bad. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, it's a C. Anyway, <laughs> do the whiskey thing gets a C. Oh, uh, this is John and Rose, and it's Grim Dorks, and I love it. Yeah, absolutely. This this is like an A or an S tier name. Oh, I, I think it's this S. I love it so much. Obviously reaches the vaunted S tier. Okay. Yeah. Grim Dorks yeah. is so good. Grim Grim Dorks is an S. We're not spending any more time on that. There is no argument to be made. Please do not talk to us in the comments about it. They will I be deleted. Do. Engagement. <laughs> YouTube engagement. Yell at us about all of our opinions. YouTube engagement. <laughs> Well, I mean, some of them. I have had to delete a comment or two. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, it's Stampetta and then Equius and it's Strong Catnip. This uh, The sucks. ship name is very specifically spelled where all of Strong is capitalized. <laughs> oh, okay. Hard to tell in your font. Yeah. Right, yeah. It, it's hard to tell in this font that I made a bunch of these in and then realized I probably should have picked something with uh, differences between capitals and lowercase. Should have just underlined all the capitals. Uh, you would assume so. But <laughs> I didn't think of that. That's fine. I didn't think about it last time we talked about it, and I just thought about it right now. So, uh, Okay. So yeah, this Knowing is, this that is it's capitalized... strong catnip. <laughs> Knowing that it's capitalized makes it suck less, but not that much less. <laughs> not not yeah. significantly less, no. Yeah, no. It's still not great. No. D? D for accuracy? <laughs> D, yeah. D, yeah. Strong catnip gets a D. We now have Jake and Dirk as popping caps and collars. But, like, does Dirk pop collars in canon or does only bro? I I feel like only bro. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's only bro. Dirk wears tank tops. Yeah. Yeah. Dirk does not pop collars. He was not a late 90s, early 2000s frat bro. I mean, Jake has a thing. collar. Dirk pops Jake's collar. Yeah, you're right. That would be <laughs> extremely funny. If Dirk ever had to wear a suit, he would pop the collar. But he yeah. doesn't in canon, and we're just making fanfic about it. <laughs> yeah, and? And I don't like it. 90% of these ship dynamics is us making fanfic about them. And we rate right. them as, like, D, because it'd be a better fanfic <laughs> than the ship name. <laughs> but we have let the fanfic we write about ships influence us multiple times in this video. <laughs> yeah, really and have. this time it's not great. It's not a great fanfic we're, we're co-writing. I don't. I, is... I I also don't. I also don't like this, but I like the discourse happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a I do fanfic think this is that bad. will still get it's... kudos, and every time it gets kudos in your email, you're like, "Oh, people still read that. That's still there, huh?" Mm-hmm. It's look as a ship name. It's too wordy. It does not describe these two's dynamic. I do want to hear Jake English say "popping caps." <laughs> um, he would be so wide about saying "popping caps." He would. He absolutely would. Popping. Um, he, caps would, he would. He would say it. He would say it as this. if he's performing in a B movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. It's. But it's it's a bad it's a D. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a D. It's a D. Pop, popping caps and collars gets a D. I, I I don't like saying that. Yeah, <laughs> but you do anyway for my personal editing ease. Yeah. Nepeta and Roxy as going rogue. I just think it should be all the rogues if we're only going to go off of just, like, the class. It's true. Rufio should be here. Rufio should be here. 
Because there's like nothing else about them besides they're both rogue. Yeah. I guess you can say that Roxy went rogue a couple times. That I don't think Nepeta ever did. No. There was one notable time that Nepeta went rogue against oh, and then she uh, the directions of her superior, and then she died. And then she died. Yeah. But... So, I, I mean, I I guess... I don't know. I just want Rufio in here. I just want more poly ships for things that could easily be poly ship names. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is like... I, I, I think this is an F. Oh, really? I'm gonna be frank. It makes... I, like, it F makes... Frank. It technically makes enough sense to be in D, but I just like it so little. <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys ask, Justin? I, 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 again, F is for things that are flat out incorrect, like Carcino. Which I'm fairly sure we put in F. Probably. We did. We put, all oh, right, we put it below F, actually. We did. I, yeah. Uh, so going, going rogue does have an aspect of them to it. So this is a D in my head. Yeah, but what is it in your heart? Um, you're making a lot of presumptions right now that there's room <laughs> for this in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> my heart is filled with uh, MLM, so. <laughs> Multi-level marketing schemes? <laughs> that and the gay thing. <laughs> you're valid. I mean, a little less valid. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, Jax, what's your rating? I, I also think it's a D. I mean, I get okay. where you're going with F, um, but, uh. It's, it's not good. It's not I'm good. Outvoted. That's all right. It's, it's worse than not good. It's bad. Yeah. Um. But it's not the worst. It would just be so, so improved by Rufio. It wouldn't be, like, great, but yeah. be more consistent. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of things would be here's, improved here's, by Rufio. A, I love that dude. Here's a here's a question for you. Hmm. If we misspelled it and we called it going rouge, is that better or worse? <laughs> that's, that's worse. Okay. I might that was, Is that rouge lipstick? It's it's a color, a common color uh, of lipstick, yeah. But it's a Roxy typo. But it's a Roxy typo, yeah. Yeah, but like that would be so, with someone who wore lipstick or like I don't and, know like just make and beat. and it would imbalance this ship name towards Roxy without a cat pun in it somewhere yeah mm, yes absolutely you're right uh going rogue gets a D going rouge does not exist mm-hmm Vriska and Aridin as badass RP mates. It's just bad. Like, yeah, this is an F. It's bad. Nothing this isn't. This, this is isn't F. Because they didn't. Did they? Were they ever on a team together when they role played? I, I, they weren't. I. They. No, I know they, they role played they were, together. They role played together, but, but they weren't on teams together. They were explicitly opposed because they were playing out their ancestors. Yeah, they yeah. were rivals. Yeah, so I I I don't think this ship name makes any sense at all. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to hear that they participated in some campaigns as partners once in a while because you know, you always like with with a good with a good shonen rivalry. Yeah. You always have team up episodes, right? Yeah. yeah. But it's but just not like, in the comic. Yeah, that's just yeah. not in canon. It, it's it, not it represented. Is, it is explicitly yeah. stated that Frisco did flarp like a lot. Yeah. Yeah, all the time. So so it's 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 very possible that at some point uh she was on the same team with probably everybody except Tavros. <laughs> yeah. But 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 calling them RP mates is just, like I guess mates because they're pirates. But really Yeah. Friska was more the pirate. I don't know. It's yeah. bad. Uh, no. Eridan's Eridan's flarp character was also pirate. Was he? I thought yeah. he was just on the ocean and not specifically a pirate. Nah, Orphan or Dual Scar is so pirate. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
I guess you could make the argument that, like, if you're really cutting deep into the pirate lore, that he's, like, more of a privateer type than a pirate, but, like, that's that's splitting so many hairs. It is. I just never, I guess, envisioned him as a, as a pirate. I just envisioned him more as, you know, like a naval officer. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, this, anyway, this is bad. And, this is bad. Um, I I do feel that like okay, mates, mateys, sure, no. role play. Yes, they both did it. Badass is debatable for one half of the ship. Well, I mean, listen, say what you want about Aridin. <laughs> he did murder a lot of powerful like Lusai, right? He did like, kill he, that whale in his introduction. He did <laughs> do a lot of murder, and I think like beyond like the school shooting type murder that he's most famous for um like he he, i think he can be a badass in the lens of role play i don't think he did that while role playing though but he did still like but that's what we see um but what i'm trying to say is like during role play he still had to been badass to be a rival of riska for any real amount of time that's fair I think that this ship, sh- like, I, I I agree with the feeling of F, right? Yeah. I do think that there is, like, if we're gonna skirt by, on, if through into D on technical accuracy, no. like we did with the last one, I don't wanna... this one also needs to go to D. No, we are inconsistent, and that's our thing. This is an <laughs> F. I do, I do feel like this is straight up just bad. Okay, then it's F. I agree. Yeah. This is an F. Badass RP mates are an, an F. They get an F. They are an F. Fuck. Correct. <laughs> Solux and Carcat as ketchup and mustard. No, it's food. It's bad. It just needs a uh, demon in here. Yeah, food bad. It's out of here. It's bad. I, it's yeah. Okay, look. Look, 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 look. I'm looking. Here's the thing. I would think this was funnier if it was uh, ketchup and grub sauce, because at least then, right, you would be able to point at the whole scene of where Car Cat's like, oh my god, is that grub sauce? Please let that be grub sauce. Ah, okay, playtime's over. But right? ketchup to me just isn't Car Cat, but like mustard isn't like in canon, uh, Solix's blood cast called mustard blood. Yeah, and the ketchup is yeah. because Car Cat's like red ass blood. I mean, I get but that. Yeah, it but like work. it's never referred to as ketchup. No. I Yeah, I'm relatively sure it's not. It's not. It's not. Because Terezi's the one who foodifies everyone's blood color and she always just calls it candy. Yeah. Yeah. We all know how I feel about the food ones. It's bad. Yeah, it's, it's bad. bad. I think it's this bad. is an F. It's an F. Yeah. This is an F. Ketchup and mustard is an F. Yeah. Uh, again, both in real life and on the ship. What? <laughs> go get, Dustin... go get some it, go get some aiolis. Ketchup and mustard are bad condiments. I I literally just had a hot dog uh like a few hours ago with both ketchup and mustard on it. It was honey mustard, which is even more appropriate. But uh. Spicy mustard is like fine. No. Yeah. Ketchup is eh. You're both wrong. Anyway. Solix and Jake as Double Butler Island. Bad. I yeah. I, I mean like I I kind of like it, but not as a ship name. But like Butler Butler Island is just a Jake thing. Right. It's, it's, uh, this is a very, um, God, I'm going to sound like a old man with what I'm going to say. Cool. This is a very Wheel of Fortune before and after category. <laughs> That's not old man. You can watch Game where, Grumps. Where Double Butler is Solix and Butler Island is Jake. But, like, how is the Butler Solix? Solix. 
wasn't wasn't his Lucis? No, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong one. That's Acquiesce. What was Solix's Lucis? A Cyclops or a, a dual duoclops. Right. That he Never mind. To the roof of everything the I just everything I just said is wrong. Yeah, like if if that if he did have a butler, uh, Lucis, that would make more sense. But he's not Equius. I- I also want to be clear that Butler Island isn't like a Jake thing. It's a thing that Dave said. It's like a Dave joke, getting served like a dude on Butler Island. For some reason, I thought they referred to his island as Butler Island at one point. Probably, because Homestuck loves to reference itself. Yeah, but right. that it is it notably a, a Dave thing. thing. But that, yeah, but then that makes it a Jake thing also if it gets referenced about his island. Okay, fair enough. I don't I don't like it. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. I did originally and then I was told I was wrong and now I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this sucks ass. Peer pressure. Uh so are we saying like uh, an F because it literally doesn't make sense? Yeah, this this, yeah. this is just it's just flat out wrong. It's an F. Uh Double Butler Island gets an F. Dave and Jade as Space Jams. I think it's cute. It's very cute. It is adorable. It does call back to, like, the the initial Dave-Jade content in the album of Jade having a bunch of Dave's music on her computer because he sends her his music all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I like this one a lot. And it, it doesn't really get brought up later, but, like, Jade can fucking play. Yeah. Jade can play. She can play bass hard. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I could see Dave liking Space Jam unironically, saying yeah. it's oh, ironic. Yeah. Absolutely. And and Jade also getting uh, way into it. Yeah. It's got a little bit Jade funny. likes the new Space Jam, and this pisses Dave off so hard. <laughs> 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 Yes. Yes. <laughs> she likes it because there's so many funny characters. And that's that's it. Uh I suddenly like this a lot more now. At least a solid A. Yeah, yeah, I think it's an A. Yeah, I think it's an A. Absolutely. Space Gems. Could could we oh. explore the possibility that this has jumped up to S? I said at least. I- Huh? I said at least a solid A. Okay. I would need to be convinced. Do you ever feel like we're on Shark Tank? <laughs> <laughs> we're just rotating yeah. the shark? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. I think it I think it incorporates enough elements of the characters together and like pitches a, a a bit of a dynamic and a scenario which i will i will note is something rosemary does not do okay despite its iconicity we don't have to bring up other a... s tiers into the s tier <laughs> ranking is that a word iconicity? iconicity iconicity yeah yeah that's a okay word. all right cool um I don't know. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent, but I wanted to pitch the possibility because I think it could be up there. I'm a swing vote, Justin. I feel like if this goes into S tier, if we were putting this on a big like tier ranking thing and this goes into S tier, I feel it goes at the very last. This is the very rightmost slot of S tier. Okay, so this is like the border. Something has to be better than Space Jams in order to make it to S tier. Yes. Yeah. I'm comfortable with that. I will okay. never abide by those rules. I'm still fine with it being S. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Space Jams, again, both in ship and in real life, gets an S. <laughs> I love that movie. 
Rose and Fafari as Innsmouth look. I was hoping that you'd say it so I wouldn't oh. have to figure out how to pronounce it, even though I did watch Gaming Harry play a Innsmouth titled game. Hey, I gotta be honest, I'm so charmed by this one. Yeah. This is this is amazing, actually. I don't remember enough about um explain it for everyone okay. who doesn't know what this means. Yeah, so partially yeah. including me. Okay, notable Same. there there is a notable Lovecraft story. Mm -hmm. Uh it, oh my god, what's the what's the what's the title? Hold on. I just remember the town name. I don't remember the actual title. The Shadow Over Innsmouth. People just got so mad at me. Notable Lovecraft story called The Shadow Over Innsmouth, which is uh, a story about uh, a town that uh, has a bunch of weird fish people in it. Uh, the the town, it, like, as the narrator is heading into the town, he hears that people in Innsmouth, as they get older, tend to develop the Innsmouth look. And, you know, yada yada, oh. eldritch horror, it gets okay, revealed okay. later that this is, like, fishiness, right? Yeah. And, and the, the horror of the story is largely based around finding out that you're, like, secretly a fish dude, and that you're gonna wake up and look like a fish one day, and then the fish are gonna call you into the sea to live with them and fuck real hard. Yeah, I, I should remember that because again, I did watch some uh, some gaming Harry videos about various um, Innsmouth based. I video I games. I think that this ship name pitches a whole dynamic between Rose and Fafari. No, this is fucking it, great. It does. It it's, <laughs> it's, it's fucking I, great. I understood nothing. The way you pitched that makes this so good. In like, it's it's an obscure bit of knowledge, but there's so much in it that connects these two in in yeah. a shipping way like yeah it's 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 it is perfect for these two characters explicitly yeah this is an s this yeah, is this, is, this an is an s this is an s thank you for seeing my vision yeah absolutely. yeah no yeah absolutely i was like partially <laughs> sold because i i kind of remembered the video game um, and I just, I just forgot what Insmith look meant. I, I was, e everything that you said was like, okay, no, this is like, I get it. It's more connected. Yeah. This is going like C, B. Okay. Maybe I could be persuaded into an A. And then you said, and then they drag them into the sea and fuck. And I'm like, okay, no, <laughs> there's, there's where the ship part comes in. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Insmith look gets an S. Yeah. Jade and Gamzee as clown dog. You ain't nothing but a clown dog. <laughs> <Sorry>. Fuck you. <laughs> Popped into my head. <laughs> I kind of hate this. <laughs> same. Same. <laughs> no, I hate it. I just got that. It just immediately I... popped into my head. and I, It makes me like it more, but I do still hate it. I, I did not enjoy it because I didn't really get it at first, other than he's clown and she's dog. Yeah. But now that you sang it like that, <laughs> I understand and I I hate this cursed knowledge that you've given to me. It oh, does, does it make more sense now that I sang it? Yeah. It, it does pitch Jade as like a like a rock and roll star, and I can be a little into that, but also fuck this name so hard. Yeah, I, no. I kinda want a music video of this song, like a like a lyric stuck or fucking whatever of this song with them just doing shenanigans. But it's a bad ship name. Yeah. Yeah. No, F. this is an F. F. This is an F. We're really that harsh is, this episode, I feel that like. That song is stuck in my head now. Listen, we just gave two S's in a row. We can do some more F's. <laughs> you know what? Fair. Clown Dog gets an F. Uh, oh. Okay. Solix and Aridin as complementary colors. This is this is bad. It's bad. They're not like it'd be different if they were like I mean, I guess Solix is kind of color people, but like if they were an artistic sort if if this like a uh how do you say her name? Amisia? Amisia? 
Amicia. We're somewhere in a ship. Yeah. Um, I don't like but, it. But, no, I don't it's either. bad. I don't like it at all. This is dumb. Yeah, this is <laughs> especially dumb. since their two colors aren't literally complementary. Yeah, they're not. As uh, you can see by this horrible, by looking at it, by, by literally looking at this thing. To it, but you can do research on your own time to look at it if you're only listening. Yeah, these colors are not complementary. No. F, no. incorrect. F, 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 F wrong. In, incorrect. Jake and Dirk. No. <laughs> nope. Nope. <Fine>. Start over. <laughs> Sorry. I was you ruined thinking your girl. So... <laughs> I was thinking so hard about this one that I said the wrong name. <laughs> Jane and This is Dirk. our ship name. <laughs> As fun with Dirk and Jane. What? Someone explain this to me. This is a reference to something, right? Uh, there's, uh, there's it's fun a with Dick and Jane. Yes. Oh. Yeah. It's a a, a a a book or a movie or some some it's old a, media. It's a children. Yeah. It's a it's a children's book series of like what you read to like learn to read, and then they also made it into uh, a Jim Carrey movie. Maybe. What a wild jump. I mean, it's obviously just using the title and not anything about the, like, children's books. But I'm pretty sure that they made it into some comedy movie, maybe, with Jim Carrey. But yeah, it's just fun with Dick and Jane, except Dirk. Yeah. Hold on. Um... Okay, so Dick and Jane were, you know, a series of books, but I'm not actually finding fun with Dick and Jane in particular as a book. It looks like oh. there were two movies titled Fun with Dick and Jane. There was the 2005 one, and then there was one in 1977, and it oh. was uh it was a a black comedy. Uh oh. you know what? Thinking about this a little bit, okay? If I can, if I can pitch for pitch. this, if I can pitch in favor of this one, I do kind of like that fun with Dick and Jane is like, it, it, it it's, it's like a playful, like dark twist on like a notable children's series in sort of a similar way that like Detective Pony mm. is, right? Yeah. Okay. You're getting me there. I, I don't know that I have more than that. This is very wordy, and I don't like that. It is it is very wordy, does not describe any of their characteristics. I think that I, it does, because I think I that think it, it describes does. their humor. Yeah. I I still don't think it's good, but I think it does describe like the the way Dami pitched it. I I see it describing them. I don't. I, but okay. I could see it as a C, but I'm leaning towards D. I think. Yeah, it's yeah, a D. it's a D. Fun fun with Dirk and Jane is is a D. I was contemplating using one of my ones, but no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's definitely a typo. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Vriska and Aridin as Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. The Lucky typo charps. is, it's, it's, <laughs> the it's, there's a P, there's C-H-A-R-M-P-S, Charms. <laughs> Which is a funny word, but yeah. not this shit. It's like chumps. <laughs> it is like chumps, which no. is a thing that Briska says often. No, it's not. This is. I don't know if it's typoed on the document, but this is how it's spelled on the document. Actually, what? God, no. I should look at the document because I have <laughs> links on one of my documents. To go back to the OGs and see how embarrassed I should feel. But I I swear <laughs> to God, I copied and pasted a lot of these. Is it... Like... Is it supposed... 
Is it supposed to be a portmanteau of charms and chumps? Maybe. I feel like we have to seriously consider the possibility that it is. Because what else? I mean, I guess typo, but like... Okay, let's make that assumption. Let's make the assumption that this is a chump spawn. Yeah. I don't think it works. I, I also don't think it works. The, no. Vriska would call the other people chumps. Vriska, like, these two people are not the chumps in the scenario. It's everybody yeah. outside of them. Or... What about if it's just Lucky lucky Charms? Or, what if it's Lucky Champs? Uh, it's also I bad. Didn't know. Also no, bad. That's worse. <laughs> if it's just Lucky Charms... Is it just a joke about the popular arid and Irish accent? Perhaps. Maybe? I feel like that's the only reason Lucky Charms exists here. Right? Yeah. Well, and Vriska has all the luck. Okay, true. I'll give you that. But as far as where the charm comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the Lucky Charms thing is Probably only Irish here Aridin. because Irish Aridin exists and yeah. is notable. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So what do we think about that, though? I like it more with you pointing out the, the luck thing playing into Vriska. But... Eh, I don't think it makes it above D. Yeah, this is yeah. D at best. D at best. Uh, Lucky okay. Charms or Lucky Charms <laughs> gets <laughs> gets, a, gets a D. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Charms gets a C in my heart because Charms is fun to say. Charms is very fun to say. <laughs> I I I smiled the instant I started to say it. <laughs> Go, Jax, try it. I've been saying charps. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. charps. Next. Next. Charps. <laughs> John and Carcat as Hammer and Sickle. Classic. Yeah. Isn't the classic it. just calling them communism, though? Oh, that's true. I mean, I like this, too. Did we it's have communism last time? Nose. Have we already done it? I don't think we've done communism we yet. We have not. Okay. It's a little more on the nose, but I don't hate it. Like, I don't hate it more than communism, right? Like, I think this is I think this is about the same tier. I it's more it's more wordy. That's I like true. communism a bit better. Yeah, I like communism a bit better as well. For it's snappy. So I, I definitely have this bias towards like one word ship names. I just think they're generally more elegant. Fair. Yeah. Uh um, I, I think like a B. Sure. Yeah. B okay. works. Hammer and Sickle gets a B. As as decided by all of us equally. <laughs> Nepeta and Gamzee as better than catnip. D. D, I think, yeah. I think this is two things. I think it's one, somebody saying my ship is better than yours. But also, this is definitely Gamzee trying to petition Nepeta like, I got, I got things that are better than catnip. It's true. Yeah. Uh, I still don't like it. it just I just wanted to give. I, it sparks I just wanted to give that, like, the, thoughts. Yeah, fair. It sparks whatever the opposite of joy is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a fan of this one. It's a D. 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 Better. Better than catnip gets a D. Nepeta oh. and Gamzee as catnip pie. 
It's better. It's, I don't know if it breaks out of a D. It doesn't. It I really it does. doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I can't, I can't. It's bad. I can't bad. realistically accept this, you know? Yeah, no. It's a, it's a D. Yeah. I need I need some confirmation. No, it's yeah. a D. the judges. Yeah, D. Okay. yeah. I thought we <laughs> get it out of here. <laughs> Cat and Pie gets a D. Roxy and Calliope as Skull Candy. I Sorry, Skull Candy. One word. I Headphones. I am I'm biased towards this because I am. Wearing right now Skull Candy Hesh ANC headphones. I am wearing what I thought was the same headphones as Justin, and then we found out they weren't actually the same headphones, but they're still Skull Candy. Yeah. I don't have Skull Candy headphones, and I hate this. I <laughs> just, I just don't, I don't know, like. I don't. It doesn't. I don't, I don't get the get candy it. vibes. Why candy? I don't. Yeah. But there's uh, so much candy vibes. With, it's because she's pink. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which? I I get them confused. Is it meat or candy? Where they were a ship? Uh, candy. Okay, that's where it comes from. Okay, I can accept. Really, this. you think this is a post? I don't think this is a post. This is not an epilogue ship. I, I don't think any of my ship names came from Beyond Canon. You can't know that, though. Yeah. Well, can you? Yeah, I mean, I I kind of can, because unless they updated the wiki after... Because um, there was the wiki that had the ship names, uh, that had some of them, and then I had some long lists that were on Tumblr and timestamped. Uh, unless they got edited like five or more years later, um, that like had all the ship names on it. So I I I can be like ninety percent again unless the wiki got updated with new ship names in twenty nineteen or after. Um, I I can be pretty sure that this is not, uh, beyond canon. Okay, I suppose. Yeah, and like we also there's a there's a lot of ship names like uh, cotton candy and stuff that get used for for Roxy ships. Those some of those make sense because they are about the colors. Yeah, and that Roxy does have a very like cotton candy traditional. I I just like, think color. that the candy gets taken from other ship names and not from Beyond Canon. That's entirely possible. If you want to interpret this as a Beyond Canon ship name and judge it based off of that, that's accurate. But this definitely is not because of the epilogues. Okay. I think. I I'm think show my either whole way, ass if someone shows that there was it was on the wiki and it got edited. I think either oh, somebody, way... Somebody go look at the edit history of the wiki. <laughs> <laughs> I think either way, I'm not... Eh, D, maybe C, if yeah, other people that, like it. That's no, kind of like where it. I'm at, is like, maybe C. I'm, I'm, I'm solidly in D. Okay. I actually... Actually, no. You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> F. This makes no sense. F, Where did... Okay. I, I thought our standards were F if it doesn't make sense. Where is the okay. sense here? You almost said C. <laughs> so... <laughs> direct that at yourself. Well, I <laughs> the, here, here's how it makes sense, and it's bad. This is bad logic, but this is the logic. Roxy's color is very cotton candy colored, and Calliope's head is a skull. And headphones. It's already a word. No, disagree. Disagree I, about what? Look, I say F. Okay, you can <laughs> I say can get F. outvoted, but I say you can F. say you can say F. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's, I'm. It's. It's I'm only gonna go up to a it to F. Oh, okay. I don't cool. Yeah. 
Skull Candy the ship gets an F. Skull Candy the headphones get an S. They're fantastic. <laughs> this episode brought to you by I wish. I wish. This this episode brought to you by my personal fucking biases. <laughs> <laughs> I have All been using episodes are brought to you by my personal <laughs> fucking biases. I have been using nothing but Skull Candy headphones for over a decade now. They're great. Skull Candy, ne- hit us up. I know you're listening to Homestuck ship names. <laughs> <laughs> Multi-hour long Homestuck ship names, Skull Candy representative. <laughs> Next. Okay. What if we get like on YouTube videos, we get the fucking uh, advertisement. Like, it detects what's in here, and just one of the random advertisements that just gets on all YouTube videos happens to be a school candy one. Okay, here's the thing. Yeah. Google ads are based on what you have said into um, into, into Google. They're based on things that you've searched, things that you've looked up, and words that it has heard recently. Okay. If we insert an ad spot, because you can choose where ads go in videos. Um, it's how some people get really good timing on them. We can put we can put an ad spot right like now, like in between that one and this one, <laughs> and there's a decent chance that it will favor Skull Candy ads. And I still won't get any money from it because my channel is not monetized. But it would be funny. Get to 500 subs. For the the people who aren't using ad blockers or or pay for the YouTube subscription. For those people, it would be funny. Yeah. (laughs) Are we seasoning our humor now specifically for those people? I don't think so. (laughs) You see, I'm one of those people. So okay. yes, because I watch on my couch using my TV and not on anything that has an ad blocker. Jane and Dirk as thinking with portals. Okay, I feel like we already talked about this one last time. Now, did we not? No, there's. I I I said this last time that there are a lot of ship names that have to do with portals, and I don't understand it. Well, oh, we had a, it was a Dirk Jake that had to do with portals. Yeah. But, like, it's got to be Dirk Roxy or, like, nothing. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know why it's this one. I know why this one has it. I can't justify Dirk Jake. I can justify this one, and you're gonna hate it. Okay. Is because we got the blue and the orange, like in Portal. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's the logic. That's the only logic for this ship name. It's an F. Yeah, it's this is bad. It's an F. Thinking with portals gets an F. Aranea. And Mina as Gilfrons. Arania and Mina as Gilfrons. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm being a dick. Um, Arania and Mina as, girl, as Gilfrons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you want to know the legitimate reason that I pronounce her name Arania? Yes. It's because I do have a tendency towards Aradia, and it differentiates them. That's fair, because I, I say Aradia and Arania, and that got confusing in the uh, last episode, where I did get those two mixed up, hearing hearing someone say the, the word. Yeah. The name. Um, you're valid. Uh, I, don't I don't mix up Aranea and Aradia like I do Jake and Jane because their names are different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, the Jake and Jane thing just reminds me, this is a super side tangent, of uh, someone was talking about all the Prospect kids, except they didn't say Prospect kids, they said the Jays. <laughs> I think that's very funny. That is yeah, good. You know. Mm-hmm. Because their their last names are all fucking terrible to try to smash together. Yeah. 
Yeah, because they have they all got different last names for some goddamn reason. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about Gilfrons. Um, I feel like it. I, I'm kind of surprised to see this one here because I thought it was on the list for a different ship as well. Uh, is it? Give me. Allow really? me to double check. I'm pretty sure this is the one that people think of when they think of Gilfrons. Yeah, it is. Could it's be. only on this list once. Oh, maybe I'm thinking about a different one. It's been a while since I looked at the list. This is um, one of those iconic ones. Yeah. Like, is it? No, I. If you say Gilfrons, people know you're talking about these two. Yeah. I just feel it's very Mina centric. It is fairly it, Mina centric. It it's it's two different fish puns. Yeah, and that's it. No, I won't deny you that. I don't think this belongs in S tier at all. No, absolutely not. No, but it is iconic, and that does earn it some points. What if I don't know it's iconic? Fair enough. It doesn't have to earn <laughs> points from you. Then you don't know it's iconic, and you don't believe us either. Look, all like, I'm saying is, if you that... vote F, it brings the average down. I'm yeah. not saying it's F. <laughs> um, but, like, I know, because Mina asks Rose at one point if uh, if she and Kanaya are Gilfrons. And so that's what I think of. That's fair. It is just a thing Mina says applied yeah. to the person that people traditionally shit Mina with. Everyone. Yeah. I don't know. I, I shit Mina with so many people, I can't even think of the traditional Mina ship. Like, if someone says the traditional Mina ship, it's just like, Riska, honestly. That's but, fair. Um, I mean, I, I know that Arania is another big one. Like, don't get me wrong, I ship them hardcore too. Um... The fucking circuits in Mina. Yeah. She's got a thing for spider ladies, and who can deny her that? <laughs> right. Um, Honestly, uh, if you were to say the traditional Mina ship to me right now, this might be because the most recent thing that I've read is open bound. I think I would say Mina and Carcat at, would be like the first thing that pops to wow, my head. Wow, that's I, fair. Mina and Carcat's an epilogue thing, too. I mean, yeah. and it's hinted at in uh, Open Bound, so. Yeah. Fair enough. Open Bound and Epilogue, so yeah. I mean, Mina Karkat's definitely good, too. We'll get there. Mina? Or have anyway, already been there. I forgot. I think this one's a B. A B? Yeah. I, I, I'm wavering between A and B because I really do like this, but it's very heavily Mina-centric. Like, there's nothing about Aranea in the name. Most of the time I try to let I try to let like truly iconic ship names end up in in a but I do feel like the imbalance is enough that like it drags this one down despite the iconicity. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't disagree. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Like that, and it's just, it is a word that gets used by Mina for other fem slash ships. True. Yeah. Um, so it's just, I don't know. I, I I will defer to you saying it's iconic. Um, But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with B. Okay. Yeah, Girlfriends gets a B. Mit- Mituna... I- and uh, Cronus as Bad Touch. I just I, laugh at all of these terrible Matuna ones. I hate it. It's I don't I don't hate it as bad as Mime Sorry. <laughs> but oh, I love Mime Sorry so much more than this one. <laughs> Mime Sorry remains poor for me. Or okay, let me let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. This one doesn't make me feel as gross to say as Mime Sorry. Bad touch doesn't make you feel as gross to say. Bad touch. No. It made me feel gross to read, and I still think it's funny. But like the implications of a ship called Bad Touch. 
this is there is no way that this ship is not at least somewhat non-con yes like <laughs> correct <laughs> just just based on their personalities remove the name from this equation at all there is no way that matuna and chronos is 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 fully consensual like i just don't know enough about matuna I think Matuna, the nasty little freak, could be into it. Yeah, he's a nasty little freak. There, but there are a, like... there are there are there are a lot of times in canon where Matuna explicitly told Kronos, "Don't touch me." Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, okay. That's sure. the name, which I can't I... believe makes you feel less gross. Than... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up. God. Mime sorry is awful. Okay? I don't you know need so to. Much. I don't. You need I to let this what one it go. Was, you me. <laughs> I just want to say it all the time. I, I don't know if Discord picked up the noises that I made after you said it in that accent. <laughs> That's all I want to do for the rest of the show. <laughs> It's just, it's like my Pokemon cry. That's all I want to say. <laughs> okay, here's here's the really bad thing about this. Detach? I feel like, I feel... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but here, here's, here's the bad thing about this. I do feel like this name... Bad Touch describes this pairing explicitly. No, I it does. Yeah, I buy it. it explicitly yeah. describes this pairing. So, Look, as th- much as I hate to say it, I think that Bad Touch is a good ship name. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Let's look. This is a. This is. This is a pro ship Discord call. So let's put aside any feelings of grossness about this. This is a good ship name. This yeah. is. That's look. That's why I feel like this is less gross to say than "I'm sorry," is because yeah, this is this is I'm 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 very pro ship. I am not into like. <laughs> shut up. Like. It gets me. It does. I'm trying not to say it for you. I. Like, yeah, hey, personally, I don't really like non-con. That's why whenever I go on to AO3, I tell it to exclude those. That's like that's the what, opposite of what I do when I go that's, on AO3. That's what those tools are there for. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I don't care they exist. I don't want to see them. And there are tools, like, this is good. It's very, it's very, very accommodating. AO3 is a wonderful website. AO3 filtering system makes me mad anytime I have to deal with any other filtering system. Like, why can't you just be AO3? Right? It's because AO3 is basically a library search system, but, like, with a good interface. Yeah. This episode is sponsored. No. (laughs) (laughs) It's weird to say that, like, AO3 search system is... Based on, but a better version of fanfiction.net's search system, but that one hasn't been updated in, like, 30 years or whatever. Like, libraries recognize how good AO3 is. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That is to say, Bad Touch is... uh... I... I, I think it it's an A. Not, yeah. I think, it's, I an think a. it's an A. Yeah, I also think it's an A. It does it definitely does not reach no. like the vaunted S. But I think that this is very correct and very, very evocative of yeah. what this ship would be. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Bad bad touch gets an A. John and Vriska has Nick caged. Caged. Okay. Is there some I other can... wordplay I'm missing? I don't know. It's bad. 
do you do, do you spell Nicolas Cage without yeah. the K? Is it just yeah. NIC? I'm I'm pretty okay. sure that's right. part of like maybe not his like OG name, but like his uh actor name is I'm pretty sure is NIC. That's that's fine. Um you you're probably correct. I did recently learn that like to be part of the Screen Actors Guild, Sean Bean. Um no no two people can have the yeah, same screen that's why Sean name. Bean changed his name. Yeah. That's why because Michael Jordan has acted yeah. in Space Jam, that's why you have Michael Jordan and Michael B Jordan as two distinct people because they can't both be yeah. Michael Jordan under under union rules. That's probably yeah. smart. Yeah. Well, the bad part about it is if you ever change your name, you lose all your credits. So Yeah. That's also that's also a real thing that I very recently learned. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh no, no like I don't like this. Like I mean, wordplay that I'm missing out on. I don't feel there's wordplay. I think this is based on the they both like Nick Cage. They, they both yeah. do enjoy Nick Cage. Uh, yeah, they both like bad. Nick Cage. This is not. I, this is this is not a John Vriska ship name. This is a John Vriska and Nick Cage yes. ship name. Yeah, I would be charmed by this if Nick Cage was yes. included in the ship. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> that is what would fix this. Listen, polyamory fixes all ship names, is what we're saying. It's true. And this is guess. an F, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nick Cage is an F. Absolutely. Tavros and Dave as s'mores. I don't uh, get it. Tavros no. is chocolate. Dave is fire and white, so a marshmallow. Where's the graham cracker? Oh, no. 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 Wrong. No. Also, Tavros? No. It's bad. Wh- who's Tavris. the chocolate? F makes yeah. no sense. Moving on. Yeah, uh, s'mores is an F. Again, S in real life. Love that good one s'mores. S'more, the French s'more. Uh, that French s'more that we had on the first time that yeah. we ever met in real life. Yeah, <laughs> the first time we ever met. Uh, we already told this. God, story. that is such yeah. a funny story. This is like the first time you yeah. met up with your homesick internet friend was to a a date at a well, not a date, but you know, at a at a French restaurant. Yeah. S'mores gets, S'mores gets an F. Equius and Dirk as Pony Pals. I feel like this is a, a pun on Pen Pals a little bit, but also Isn't that they're Pony both Pals bronies. Is the name of the book? Oh, fuck yeah, it is. Jane it is. Here. Yeah. You're so right. Oh my god, you're, this would you're be amazing. Correct, yeah. Wow. Jane Dirkwius. What, a, what ship. a ship. Polyamory makes all ship names better. F. F, F, F because no Jane sense. isn't here? <laughs> F because <laughs> my girl isn't here. No. <laughs> Taking away points from all ships that don't have Jane. <laughs> <laughs> this is how my brain works. I think a D. I I also think a D. Jane would die if she got in the middle of this. You're or very right. She'd <laughs> like... be a femdom. You right. No, I don't think Jane would die. I think Jane yeah. would kill. Equius would be yeah. in to, like to especially if it's like Jane. I'm the heiress to fucking the Condus. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. how depraved the idea of a human being the troll yeah. heiress is? Right. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, this does need Jane in it. You're right. You're a thousand percent correct. <laughs> Janeless Pony Pals gets an F. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's that's fair. 
Oh, Jade and Nepeta <laughs> as cats and dogs. It's obvious. It's cute. It's a C. I think. I think D. It's like, what? Nah. Never mind. I was mixing up people's lands again. Yeah, this is kind of meh to me. Uh, Fair. It's, it's in the middle of C or D. I'll which consent. is not helpful in this... I'll, con <laughs> I'll consent to D. I don't okay. think this is that great. Also, for those like watching, the reason that Jade's sprite is so very compared fucking clean everyone and else's, like, isn't. It was compared to everyone else's. It was compared to everything. <laughs> For whatever reason, and I'm I'm relatively certain that I grabbed all. Ooh, my voice just cracked. Wow, puberty. <clears throat> I'm relatively certain that I got all of these off of the MSPA fan wiki. Huh. But for whatever reason, the file size of Jade is so goddamn massive. That's extremely funny. Why is Jade so high resolution on the clear. wiki? You're right. Uh, hold on, let me go. Let me go find it. Because most of them are like you know, a couple hundred pixels. Uh, yeah, Jade's file size is literally, uh, almost almost forty times the size of that. Uh, of a regular one and it's and it's 1192 by 1920 Jade. pixels she's Big. gigantic she's gi she is gigantic it was a fucking nightmare having so, to make these and like macro. switching between her and everybody else so in this image uh what i'm hearing is that jade is actually like a couple miles back <laughs> yeah. <laughs> macro Jade is going to be a a great um foreshadowing for my macro hussy reference in a future episode. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> sure. What do we say? Cat, you what, say? Cats, cats and dogs gets both a C and a D for cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Dave and Terezi as cool kids. With a one. Uh, with the with, eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is blatantly correct. They call themselves this multiple times. Yeah. And yeah. they are. They are both I'll... they are both kids that are cool. I Yeah. They're both radical. Agree. I don't I don't think it's like clever nah, it's enough to, to get into S, but I do think it's a good like A. Yeah. It is obvious and iconic. You say cool kids, you know who the ship name is. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Sorry, what did we say? B? A? Cool cool kids with a one gets an A. Eridan and Feferi as life has hope. Uh, Bad. It's their aspects. It does not describe their ship. It does Anything not describe their, their dynamic at all. You just have to be like, oh, for fairy's life, and she has Aridin, who is hope. Yeah. She possesses yeah. him. No, it's bad. It's like it's, it's like ten percent above any other ones that just that are just the the class names because or aspects. Because it is literally one has the other. Yeah. But no. Bad. Life has hope is an F. Agree. <laughs> Matuna and Latula. Latula? Hold on, I have to decide how I pronounce this I name Latula. for real. Matuna and Latula. Latula. As Radrom. Yeah, I don't yeah. hate it. It is a. I did like a C. It's a Homestuck specific pun, which I can appreciate. It is, yeah, because it's it's red rom, but but radical. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll take a C. I'll take a C on red rom. Yeah, I. Yeah, C is fine. I think this is maybe a B though. 
that's kind of what I was struggling with. Is like I do, I do think yeah. it's higher than that, but I'm yeah. I think it's a B. It could be. Just because I say it first doesn't mean it's right. That has been our vibe, though. Is the first person to say a thing is correct? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've been arguing a lot. I feel the first person to say a thing just sets the tone for the conversation. We've had disagreement. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, Rad Rom is a yeah. We can do Rad B. Rom is a B. I didn't think of I didn't think of Red Rom um, until you <laughs> said it. So oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, B. Nepeta and Jake as greenmanship. That's got to be another. That's got to be a pun on something. So okay, there. It sort of is, and I might be wrong in this. There might be another pun that I'm missing here, but. There is an old, like, Celtic legend of the Green Man. Uh Uh-huh. I do do not know how this in any way applies to either one of them, both individually or together. Yeah, no, the Green Man can't be the thing here. Yeah. Because Jake is from the UK, according to some people? I feel like that's only because he said Gadzooks the one time. Yeah, but a lot of people think he's British. It's true. I do voice him as British. You do. You do that whole uh the the what is the genre called? Chap hop. I did the chap hop song. Chap hop. I did do the chap hop song. You do chap hop. You do chap hop songs. I did. I I did. There is okay. There is a Jake English parody of uh Professor Elemental's "I'm British." Uh, that I did a cover of for Sock On the first year. Yeah. I and it's just, didn't... I'm English. I was at a different panel at that time because I do not remember this, and I was present for the entirety of the first Sock On. Yeah, no worries. Well, I'll find to... I'll find that, and I'll send it to you, because I think it's it might be on my SoundCloud. Oh, is it on your SoundCloud? If it's not I, on I mean, my I SoundCloud, have, like, I should put it on my SoundCloud. It, yeah, it should still be up on, on YouTube, right? I have the Sockon playlist. The whole saved. panel is on YouTube. You'd have to dig around for it if that's the only place it is. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. it exists. It's out there. I almost redid it this year, but I didn't. Anyway, to, to go see Dummy SoundCloud, go into the comments. Not into the comments. Do go into the comments, I but also go into the uh, the description. Yeah, I link I link Dummy SoundCloud every. every it's down there. Cool. I should put yeah. stuff in it because it has because it has uh, the podcast theme song. Yeah. I might, I might, I might be making some Homestuck vaporwave soon, so that might be going up on my <laughs> SoundCloud. Very awesome. excited for you to make more music. Um, anyway, Greenmanship, I think, Bad. is an F. I think it's an F. I don't, I don't F. get it. Maybe somebody else does. I, uh, other than just they're both green, uh, that's not enough. It's an F. Oh, maybe it's, uh, trans mask, uh, Nepeta, so they're both men. It's still an F. Uh. Okay, Good. I was trying yeah. to argue for it. I just no, he, no. Here's the, here's the thing. I I felt mildly uncomfortable going. Okay, it's still an F after, the, after that. <laughs> I'll do it then. As, okay, the it's still an F. As, see, Look, as a, classic as a, trans fan bullying the silencing. The trans I am. I am possibly the most <laughs> vocal trans fan about how shit trans masks have it. Get out of here. I know. <laughs> I know, I can't be mean to my one token trans femme friend. Actually, I have more now. I made more friends. You're just my main one. No, that was that was absolutely silent. So I'm like, I'm the only cis person in this call. I can't be the one to say it. You're like cis plus. Don't you have like he, they pronouns on your Discord? I, I do, yes. You're cis plus at, at, at the very least. Sure, sure. Anyway, Mo- greenmanship is a, a completely an F. Yeah. <laughs> Equius and Dirk as hoof beasts. This feels iconic, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I, you I say guess? that, and yet this is not iconic at all. I've never seen this. Is before. it not? No, I've never I seen this like in my life. Before. No, hoofbeats is just like the troll word for horses. But shouldn't it be hoofbeats? See, okay, that here's the thing. That would be so much better. I was also thinking that. I was definitely going to bring it up. I'm sorry. I know I just peeked there. Sorry, everybody. You're That's good. fine. Um, I was also going to fix it. I was also going to say hoofbeats. Maybe, maybe as Equius Dave better than Equius Dirk, but uh, Dirk does beats. We just don't like have that whole beginning period of uh, uh, Dirk fucking around with it. Like he gets down to business a lot more quickly than we get with Dave. But that's that's part definitely of Dirk true. Getting down to business is having a rap off against his robots that he built exclusively to rap against. Yeah, I was just yeah. meaning like we get more casual time with Dave to see him do music shit over a, like five acts. Uh-huh. Um while we uh but yeah, we just get more time. We get five acts of 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 Dave having leisure time to do it and we don't have that with Dirk. Uh so we don't it's not as established um for for a long period of time, but it is established that 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 Dirk is a music person yeah i think okay can hoof beats be the uh the 413th ship that we rate yeah please yeah thank you okay hoof beasts i i still yeah. like it if i'm it's, gonna be honest it's, it's fine i think hoof beasts is a c if only because i could see it in the very specific sense of dirk being the kind of guy to go around calling himself a beast. Oh, don't do that to my, <laughs> my boy. Don't do that to I, my boy. It's a very I, specific interpretation of Dirk, but it's one that I like for this ship name. <laughs> I, you know, I think you're, I think you're correct in, I think 13 year old Dirk would have called himself a beast. Like the Dirk, uh, yeah. like the Dirk, like the Dirk that made Hal, I think yeah. would have done it. Yeah. Okay. So Hoof Beasts is like a C. Sure. Maybe. Sure. Yeah. And then Hoof Beats, an A. <laughs> Ho yeah, Hoof Hoof Beats is definitely an A. Can I? Can if Hoof Beats if not be an touching S? into S. Yeah, like, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's very good. I am down with that. Okay. Hoof beats. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Here's, yeah, uh, hoof, hoof beats is a C. Hoof beasts, or no, other way around. Hoof beasts is a C. Hoof beats is an S. And now cut this part out, but Jax, what you have to do while editing this is you have to take that S that we're like pulling out to make Scribble it beats. It out. <laughs> and no, you have to pull. You have to pull it upwards no, so that it becomes no. the S. No. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny, though. <laughs> I don't edit. <laughs> Understandable. I barely edit audio. This this video editing is gonna be so much. I'm baby. You never learn if you don't do weird shit. Yeah. That's how I'm learning I'm audio. Weird shit. I'm already doing it. That's we'll fair. I have the entirety of next week off, so we'll see. Jade Just get really and... good at video editing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or, actually, no. I, hold I'm on. not a visual person. Fair. Never mind. I was going to make a, like, a really bad transition. Go ahead. Jade no, do and. A really bad transition. Okay, Do fine. It. Maybe you should get really, really good at coding at three in the morning. Like with Jade, Jade and Solix. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm already kind of good at... I did coding at three in the morning this morning. Actually, I am this ship. <laughs> uh, it's bad, though. This name? This name like is it. very bad. Three in the morning um, is a Homestuck thing. Jade does have mild ties to it because it's the name of one of her dresses. One of her dresses is a three in the morning reference. Yeah. That doesn't make it good. It doesn't make it good. I'm just laying out. I'm just laying it out. That for is the a listeners. D rather than an F. 
No. I think this is an F. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's so wordy. You it's just have so to have bad. the context about why it's an F. Listen, we understand the references. It still sucks balls. Yeah. That's part of our job here. <laughs> it is. It's what we're it's getting like paid for. Exactly. Yeah, you guys are de- definitely we're we're all definitely rolling in the money. Yeah. Oh, I didn't one. I didn't say we're getting hey, paid in money. There's a there's a link to my Kofi below where you can get bonus episodes and episodes early and just give me money because you like it and hosting a podcast costs money. It sure does. It sure do. If we get enough money, maybe everybody will be high res uh next time <laughs> instead of Instead of just Jade. <laughs> Get enough money, uh, Domi won't be paid in pennies. It's true. It's true. It's true. She'll still be paid in pennies. It'll just be significantly more pennies. Yeah, I still go to the bank um, <laughs> every every week and make them count out uh, X number of pennies uh, to then mail to Domi. Oh, it's, God, you're mailing them. It's really obnoxious. We don't live together anymore. Yeah. It was different when we lived together. Yeah, no, when we lived together, it was fine, because most of the time I needed to go to the bank anyway for one reason or another. But yeah, because like, your bank had shitty online stuff. Yeah, my bank way, fucking so sucks. I... <laughs> but, like, now, now it's just such a, it's like, oh my god, it's such a hassle. The, the mail people are always pissed. more than what I'm sending. <laughs> We're going way too in on this bit. Let's anyway, go. coding at three in the morning is an F. Yeah. yeah, coding at three in the morning is an F. Our bit is a D. <laughs> <laughs> John and Carcat as crab cakes. I really want to eat crab cakes right now. I'm. I really want crab cakes right now. I haven't had crab cakes in so long, and they're not like they're fine. I never really uh-huh. have a craving for them. I eat them if they're in front of me. I want these so bad right now. This is fair. Let's not let our opinion of crab cakes influence our opinion of crab cakes, though. But, like, the the craving it instills in me rather <laughs> than, like... <laughs> is, okay, here's the thing. Is the craving for crab cakes or is it for crab cakes? Uh, this is an important question. <laughs> uh so here's the thing one it's a food name it is two some of those slip by it's just an a plus b thing but we've also let some of those slip by okay but this is like a a a little bit more than like simple a plus b it's it's yeah it's true it's not i don't know I, I feel like if you can make a food name that is also a solid A plus B, that elevates it beyond both, right? Yes. Yeah, because like, I anything feel like that, that's what we found. Anything that has multiple layers becomes more than the sum of its parts. Yeah. Um And yeah, crab like, cakes does this work isn't on a couple just like because, breath and blood or I don't know. Yeah. Most of the reason that I don't like the food ones is because it's just based on blood colors or typing colors. Yeah. Yeah. This is not that. Like all of the all of the peanut butter and jelly and whatever sandwiches and lemonades or whatever, they're all just color based and I hate it. But this is pretty this good. This is not. This is not. This, yeah, it's still, I'm not I, saying it's like great, but Yeah. I uh, C Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. wavering around high C. I do like high C. It's good fruit punch. I was about to say, it's like, is high C a <laughs> I fucking hope not. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's Dirk there are, self-sessed. There are 413 oh, of these. Dirk oh, Dirk self-sessed. God damn it. <laughs> or would it be Dave Sprite self-sessed? Would it be, would it be, oh, yeah. uh, Dirk Dave Sprite? Oh yeah. That's totally okay. what it is. I'm glad we figured that out. <laughs> uh... Now we have 414, so we have to get up to 612. Shit. But we didn't rate that one. We're only counting the ones we rate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's rate it. Actually, no. we are still at 413, because if you remember, we had to get rid of one that was accidentally in here at the very beginning. Okay, so we can rate this one. Yeah. Okay. 
we we we've increased by three, but we've also gone down one. Okay, so we can we can rate we can rate Dave Sprite Dirk High C. How do we feel about it? It's a D. It's just food. It's just based on colors. <laughs> I, we know how I feel about this. <laughs> okay, but Dirk does have a thing about orange juice. Well, he has a thing about orange soda. Okay, but that's Dave true. Dave has a thing about apple juice, and if you Ooh. combine them, considering most like juice, especially for kids' juice, is just apple juice plus some other flavors, but like is very apple juice forward. It is kind of a mix of both, because you You're know right. that soda's flat. Uh, high C isn't carbonated. Well, no, but like if we're mixing apple juice and orange soda to get high C. Then yeah. you know the orange soda's flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wouldn't be carbonated. But but we can give high C a C. You're so right. This is why they pay me the big bucks. You know what? <laughs> sure, fine. I'm outvoted on this. Both crab cakes and high C get a C. <laughs> Aradia and Equius as Robo Love. Yeah. Don't think too hard about the fact that I said earlier that I pronounced it. <laughs> I did Aradia immediately most say of the that. Time. <laughs> that. I did is say where most of the time. First I flip back and forth on her. All right. Okay. Um, allow me to propose just for alliteration, Robo Love. Mm, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't care for that. Okay, look. There is the one there is the one Arqueus ship name from episode one that I think just does this bit so much better. What is it? Yeah. The, yeah. The Sadomaso Robo Necrobestiality. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That, like, I just, I can't, I can't see anybody, I can't see any version of these two together that tries to, like, reference, like, the weirdness of their, rela of their like, relationship, but doesn't incorporate it all. Yeah. You know? What did we call that one? I think that one was, like, an A. It was one of the first, one of the early A's. Okay. Then I feel like this because it is the same like area but bad. Yeah. Makes it a makes it a C. Yeah, I can see a C. Taken by it taken by itself, independent of the other one, uh I I don't like it because it doesn't describe them. Yeah, I I was gonna go mm. for like a D. I think that yeah. if I heard if I saw someone referencing this name on its own though, I might be able to intuit that it is about Arqueus. And I I think that should count for something. You just keep saying Arqueus and I just keep thinking of Arqueus. That's true. Right. That's not Is that not the sh All right. It could I, be, but I, like that might not be the ship name that people actually generally use to describe this. Oh well. It's a C. Okay. Robo Robo Love is a C. Tapros and Parkat as F. oranges and cherries. And yes, F. 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 Part F. Immediate immediate F. Immediate F. No mercy for the food names. Nepeta and Dirk as ship of the heart. F. <laughs> I I also don't like this. It's pretty bad. It's, it's bad. It's so bad. It's like they're both the heart players, and we're not creative. Like this is this is like somebody went heart shipping is too bland. Let me mix it up, like and then completely furries. fucking. And then completely fucking failed. Yeah. Like. I don't it's know. it's uh, My ship, too tired to make up a better one. Ship of the Heart gets gets an F. I was about to say F. gets I was almost gonna say gets a bad. <laughs> <laughs> gets a bad. <laughs> Jade and Fafari as horror cuties. 
Eh. Eh. Yeah. Jade's I'm not like a... horrific. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think the the horror more refers to. Well, I mean, I guess the cutie is supposed to describe them both, but I, the horror is more like uh, the fairy's connection to the horror terrors, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which Jade was also one of the first people to dream about the horror terrors fully yeah. in the kids she, session, but that's she not enough of a out. connection for me. Yeah, she yeah. also shuts it out so fast. She and does like, so fast. She she very she very much refuses that connection. Uh, I don't like it. Yeah, it's bad. There's somebody else that this ship name should go on aside from Jade, I think, but I don't know who it is off the top of my head. Yeah. Yeah. So, but what do we think for F? Okay. I think F. Yeah. I think F incorrect. F. Yeah. Yeah. It's like teetering upon correct. Yeah. This is an F. This has been part two of the ship thing. The thing where we do ships. We rate them. Rate the names of the ships. Not the ships themselves. Sometimes we rate the ships themselves, but that's like besides the point. We're we're gonna do part three and part four and part five and part a billion. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun listening and or watching. And uh, I see you see you in the new year. Thank you to Dami for composing the theme song and editing the episode. You can find more of her work at SoundCloud.com/slash Domino Thief. Shout out to our fakest fan tier supporters, Danny the Spoon Lord and Tezrak. You can become a supporter and receive early episodes and bonus content for as little as $1 a month over at ko-fi.com slash jacksyaks or simply give a one-time tip. For information on and links to my other projects, head over to jacksyaks.com. Thanks again for listening. Thanks for listening.